Welcome to the Deke STEM Lab. I know that you've been learning about the salmon that we grow here in our classroom um, in our tank. Now because we're not in school and it's very difficult to care for them, we have to care for them every day, feed them and clean their water, um, the DNR told us that it would be best to go ahead and release them into the river. Now we know they weren't terribly big. Normally we'll release fish that are about this big and this year we released fish that were only about this big. But that's okay. They were big enough to go off on their own. So what we did is we drained the water down in our fish tank and then we used a net and we took the salmon out of the water and we put them into a bucket just like this so that we could transport them up to the river. We wanted to make sure that we kept them good and cold and that they had plenty of oxygen in their water on their trip. So we had to get them out of the fish tank quick and get them into the river as fast as we could. So myself and Mrs. Barry did this yesterday afternoon. One of the things that we have to do is acclimate the fish to the river water because the river water isn't at the exact same temperature that we keep here in the classroom. So we need to make sure that the fish are used to that water. So we take the bucket with the fish, we add a little bit of the river water in so that the temperatures can mix and the fish can get used to the new temperature. Once we've acclimated the fish to the water of the river, we can then use a cup to scoop the fish out of the bucket and slowly release them into the river. I am happy to tell you we released 73 fish yesterday and that all of the fish were very happy and extremely excited with all of the new space they had. If you look very closely, here's one of our salmon right here in the river. Now some of them swam off immediately and some of them weren't quite sure about this new big area they had and they were a little scared and they hung out. But after a while, they too got used to the river and they swam off as well. We found it interesting that there were a lot of leaves in the bottom of the river and a lot of these fish blended right in. You really couldn't see them when they got down around the leaves and the rocks. That's exactly why they have the markings on their back that they do, so that predator fish can't find them and won't be as apt to come after them. Remember, remember, our fish are going to become very, very large fish. 